This is the greatest championship in the world, um, in front of the best crowd in the world. This is truly an open championship. For any else, you know, being in his foundation for three years, setting, setting my pro career up um, was, was really amazing and, uh, you know, a thank to them for, for everything, yeah. It's just great to have those kind of role models growing up and hopefully I can do the same for the other youngsters that are wanting to emulate us and play on the world tours. In 2010, uh, I played the Junior British Open uh, at London Lynx and obviously Louis Wurstos and winning at St Andrews was, was quite special that year so and hopefully I can be Louis at some stage of my life. You obviously get butterflies in your stomach when you're sitting on your couch at home watching the likes of Ernie, Gary and uh, Louis lifting that championship. It gives you that extra little bit of motivation. This has been the best result South Africa's had in a very long time, you know, and uh, it just tells you something that we're doing something right in this country. Just to see somebody from my country do it, it just gives you that little bit of extra confidence to know if somebody else can do it and they're human, I can also do it. It's been an honour to be part of the, the Livy Academy for the last few years. The way it helped grow my game has just been unreal. I could, I could definitely say confidently that if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here right now and I wouldn't be able to be the Junior Open champion this year. Academy 57 was founded in 2009 in Muscle Bay with a purpose of giving back to the community. You know, I was in the NELS Foundation, so I wanted to sort of try the same thing and see if I can give back to, to kids. I want to get it there and then, okay. You know, we started out with four in the beginning, four kids, and, and it, it was really um, great, you know, the, the, um, the way everyone played and, and, and came through. Martin Foster was, was our first, one of the four first ones in been in there for forever now and um, I think he's got one year left. You know, he's done great things. And to the Louis Wessels and Junior Golf Academy, thank you so much for all the support they have given me. It's, it's tough sort of if you know you're one of 10 or 20 in an academy and that's the level immediately you need to get to. So we thought let's start right in the beginning and, and where the kids at the grassroots, where they at the schools. I mean, we've had a few kids that came through that and that, that went into the next tier and eventually getting to the main academy. When I joined the academy and it really helped me improve my game and like, just took me to a whole new level of playing and really improved my game a lot. It's unbelievable what Louis gives back to us and the advice and him just being there and, and being through the whole thing and being through going pro and playing all around the world and his experience and, and advice is just, it's unbelievable. Um, I definitely look up to Louis, um, first of all, um, because everything he has done to me and the, especially the kind of person he is, um, so humble and always willing to help and always willing to um, speak to me personally. Martin, great playing. We're so proud of you. Um, you're really keeping South Africa and the Academy name high. You know, I'm so proud of Louis. I'm glad that he was in our foundation and I'm happy that we could have given him the support uh, for him to, to, to be successful in golf and in life. I actually think the, the, the golf in the Southern Cape where, and obviously in Mossel Bay and everything around that in the whole Southern Cape region, it's just, it's just been growing so much the last couple of years. And Yvonne coming out of the Southern Cape winning um, amateur this year, uh, Martin winning the Junior Open. It's just, I think the Southern Cape golf, uh, it's growing unbelievably. I've been with the Ernie Austin Fan Court Foundation uh, since I was 15 years old. And you know it's been a big, it's been a big foundation block kind of for my career. The 
Bell's tempo shown once again. Almost looks like slow motion, doesn't it? That's an incredible story again. You know, the last time a South African won the British Amateur was in 1966, Bobby Cole. And that's it. Just the second South African ever to win the Amateur Championship. And Jovan to do this and, you know, basically 52 years later is just incredible. I can see a lot of Ernie Els in Jovan. Fine player, fine person. And, um, and a true, true ambassador for what the work we're doing at the Ernie Olsen Fan Court Foundation. You know, I'm very thankful for what the foundation has done for me in my, in my career of golf. We started the foundation in 1999. The whole thinking about it, it was to, to help kids um, that didn't have the resources to take their games to the next level. I'm so honoured to actually be part of the NL Foundation. I mean, they're supporting me so, so much. I mean, because um, they're paying for all my amateur tournaments that I want to play, um, accommodation and equipment and all of that. They're also paying for my, for my education. When the members will leave us, all of them, all of them will be educated, not just good golfers, but also educated. Now it means the world to them. Suddenly they have dreams and they have hope. The Golf RSA, which is the governing body of golf in South Africa, is doing a great job. And everybody is working together to give juniors the opportunities and the dreams. Playing in RNA events as an amateur uh, was a privilege. And they really the lifeblood of the game. They give us everything that golf is all about comes out of the RNA. We can't thank the RNA enough for, for what they've been doing um, for us and it takes a lot of pressure off us. It's something that uh, we treasure a lot. To have the RNA uh, backing us as a foundation means that we're doing things in the spirit of the game and in the right way.